phone rings. Michael Quinn Patton here. Yes, I'm the, as you say, guy who does evaluation. How can I help you? Mm -hmm. What kind do you need? Long silence. You know, kind. If you go to a restaurant, you go to a kind of restaurant. If you buy a car, you buy a kind of car. I see. Mm -hmm. So you're at the end of a three-year project, and you've just noted that the funder requires an evaluation. I'm afraid I can't help you. I don't do that kind, and I don't know anyone who does. True story. And thus begins the saga of making distinctions in evaluation. What kind of evaluation fits the situation? When I'm teaching evaluation or doing beginning workshops with clients to start an evaluation, I often begin with the Dr. Seuss story of Mrs. McCabe and her 23 sons. Did I ever tell you that Mrs. McCabe had 23 sons and she named them all Dave? Well, she did, and that wasn't a smart thing to do. You see, when she wants one and calls out, you who come into the house, Dave, she doesn't get one. All 23 sons of hers come on the run. That makes things quite difficult at the McCaves, as you can imagine, with so many Daves. And often she wishes that when they were born, she had named one of them Bodkin Van Horn, and one of them Hoosfoos, and one of them Snim, and one of them Hotshot, and one Sunny Jim, another one Putt Putt, another one Moonface, another one Marvin O Gravel Balloon Face, and one of them Zanzibar Buck Buck McFate. But she didn't do it, and now it's too late. Well, evaluators have lots of options. We have, it turns out, more than 23 kinds of evaluation. And what I'm going to do in this video is simply take you through the many options that have emerged in evaluation and see how many we get. This involves listing both evaluation theories and practices. And as we go along, I'm not going to do narration. I'm simply going to pull up on the screen these various approaches, give you a second to look at them, and let us move through and see how many kinds of evaluation are there. Thank you.
So here we are at 23. And it turns out we're just getting started. So beyond 23, we might see if we can get up to 50, which evokes Paul Simon's song, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Just slip out the back, Jack, make a new plan, Stan. You don't need to be coy, Roy, just set yourself free. Hop on the bus, Gus, you don't need to discuss much. Just drop off the key, Lee, and get yourself free. So let's see how many more we may have. Can we get to 50? I think we might. So we made it to 50. No more targets. Let's just see how many there are. Continuing on.
until we've arrived at 101 evaluation options and counting. More could be added, more will be created and are on the way, but I think 101 is enough to make the point that evaluation has become a rich landscape of many splendid options. A variety of evaluation approaches to fit the diverse situations evaluators face and the variety of information needs that primary intended users have. And so we have these many, many options to fit the variety of challenges and situations that evaluation faces and to ensure that what we do is useful and meaningful within any particular context. I'm Michael Quinn Patton, and this has been an inventory of the rich splendored options of evaluation.